Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 505. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Tips link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 502 to 505. Hey, uh, someone was watching Excel Magic Trick number 7, where you use the indirect function to name the space operator to do a two way lookup. Our goal here is we want to select any date and any product and then have the intersection. So right now, um, the 8th, 2, 8 would give us this row. Product 2 would give us this column. The intersecting value right there will um, is the value we want to return to our cell. Now, we have dates here. And how we did it in this video, if you have dates, it's going to cause a big problem. Now, I will show you how to solve it in accordance with this, but it's all going to be really silly because there's a much better way to do this two-way lookup. Remember? Bloop. And we want to return that one. I'm going to click down here, right click hide. Okay, here we go. Equals VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP can look up something in a vertical array. Hey, what we're looking up, oops, uh, Control Z, Control Z. I'm going to need that. I can't hide that. I can hide this one though. equals VLOOKUP. And VLOOKUP, uh, we want to look up this value right here. And this will be our first column. So I'm going to say, hey, lookup, take this, and then comma, the table array. It's going to be this whole table right here. So right now, it's going to be taking this date. It's going to race down the first column, find that uh, 2, 8, 2010. It'll know what row, right? Comma, now which column? Well, 1, 2, for us, it'll be the uh, third column, because this is column 1, this is column 2, this is column 3. Column 3 because product 2 is there. So we want it to find this column. Well, watch this. How do, how do we, because right now VLOOKUP's got the row. If we can just give it the column, it knows to take that right there. Well, we'll use the match. The match function we, uh, gives us the ordinal position. So if I say, hey, match function, find that right there within this range. Match doesn't return a value. It returns the position, right? So look up value, look up array. If I say um, find product two, it's going to, the match is going to go one, two, third. It's the third value. And that's exactly what the VLOOKUP needs. The VLOOKUP needs that number three. Now, this match, if we hit comma, it's going to need uh, this other argument. But guess what? We can leave this argument off because our labels are sorted, both of these. Actually, this is going to be true for VLOOKUP and MATCH. We do not need the final argument because these are, per these are sorted. So I'm going to close parentheses on that. If um, you highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see, boom, it gives us a 3. Control Z. Right, and then finally we come uh, over here, we close parentheses. We do not need the final argument on uh, the range because it's sorted in uh, ascending order. Close parentheses and then Control Enter. If I change uh, this to 7, uh, our lookup and match function works just fine. It's got the 7th, and there it is, product 2, if I change this to uh, 4. All right, so that's really how we should all be doing this. Um, there's another method also with index, two matches in an index. But um, I pretty much over time think I like this one the best. All right, now I am going to show you how to do the same thing as in this video with dates. And it's going to get uh, interesting, at least. I'm going to say unhide. All right, now the first thing is I want to highlight this whole range and I want to name. So I want this row named that date, this row named that date, and this column named that, this column named that. We'll use our keyboard shortcut for name, uh, create names from selection. The keyboard shortcut is Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3. It says, hey, where are the names? They're in the left and above. I click OK. Now watch this. Here's what it did. If I highlight this right here, you can see, ah, it puts in these little um, underscores because that symbol right there, that forward slash, is not allowed in a name. So that's the trick. Once you name it, you got to realize that uh, that's what it did. Now we're going to come down here. And over in this video, we use indirect, indirect. So I'm going to say equals indirect. Indirect can take a text item. 
like product one and convert it to the range. Remember, because product four is the name of this column right here. If I hit uh, highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see, sure enough, it's showing me those. That's what the indirect does. Takes text and converts it to its reference. Control Z. Now, the space operator, just like we did in this video over here, and then indirect. And then I click on this. All right, so that space operator, if I have a range here and a range here, which is going to give me, uh, this is the 7, so it'll give me that range and this one. Once there, this space is there, you're telling these two ranges to find the intersection. That's what the space operator means right there. Now, the problem is, indirect is looking here and seeing these slashes, but that's not what's in the name. So when I enter it, it gives me a reference error because it's not recognizing that. So what do we have to do? We actually have to get tricky here. We have to take this text, uh, substitute an underscore for uh, these dashes right here. Um, so we're going to use the substitute. Now there's a problem. Substitute, when any function looks at a date, it looks at the serial number underneath. So now we're going to have to get tricky. We're going to have to do the text function on that value right there and format it. So we're going to do double quotes. This is custom number format. And I'm looking here, whatever this format is, it looks like m slash d slash year, year, year and double quote. So right now, if I just highlight the B9 and hit F9, F9 to evaluate, you could see a formula looks at not the formatting, but the underlying number, Control-Z. But now that I've used the text function and custom number format, when I hit F9, boom, I got exactly what I want. So now, Control-Z. Now the substitute can take that date. Here's substitute. That's the text comma, the old text is what? It's double quote, forward slash, double quote, comma, the new text I want is double quote, underscore, double quote, and then close parentheses. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I highlight this and hit the F9. That's still not going to work. Why? Because there's supposed to be a little underscore before the two. So control Z, we're not quite done taking that thing and you know, converting this thing into the name that's saved up a uh, name. We have to come to the front here of substitute, double quote, underscore, double quote, and then the join symbol ampersand, which is shift, uh, shift 7. Now, it looks like I'm going to need to come to the uh, indirect, um, the very end of this, and put a close parenthesis. Now, watch this. When I highlight this and hit the F9 key, sure enough, it is uh, seeing that date and giving us those numbers right there. Control Z, Control Enter. Now, that is just simply an exercise in uh, some Excel silliness. That is not a good formula. It's uh, way, 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 way too much work. Uh, this is the formula to use or some other. It index and match. All right, um, we'll see you next trick.